Hello everybody. This is the last lesson that we will have and then the next couple of lessons will be worked examples to demonstrate the concepts that we've done so far. Now in this very last lecture, we will look at the equation of path for a projectile particle. The equation of path for a projectile particle. Now re remember that the equation of path basically is a function of y in terms of x. So what do we know? <clears throat> we know that x is v naught c cosine theta. So this is equation 1. We also know that y is equal to v naught c sine theta minus 1 half dt squared. This is equation 2. So we need to manipulate equation 1 and 2 in such a way as to eliminate time in equation 2. And to do that, we can clearly see that t is equal to x divided by v naught cosine theta. So if we substitute this t in equation 2, what do we have? We will have y equal to v naught bracket x divided by v naught cosine theta sine theta minus 1 half g bracket x divided by v naught cosine theta all squared. So all we need to do is simplify this expression. <coughs> v naught obviously takes care of v naught. Sine of a cosine is tan. So you have y will be equal to x tan theta minus g x squared to v naught squared cosine squared theta. This expression represents the equation of path for a projectile motion. It's a long one. I don't expect you to memorize this. I don't even want you to memorize this. Um, but the most important thing is, when can you use this, you know, juggernaut? When you're given a problem where you are asked to calculate maybe the initial velocity given the height as well as the range, as well as the angle of projection, then you can easily solve for v naught. But most often, you will use this expression to calculate x. Um, a projectile will be launched at a certain angle with a certain initial velocity. You will be asked to calculate, you know, the horizontal distance after a certain time interval. Now, this equation will really come in handy um, at that point. But the, the most crucial thing that is important for you to see, I'm going to translate this equation in a way that you can see it um, pretty much clearly. Uh, you, you notice that tan theta here is just a constant. G is a constant, V naught is a constant, and cosine theta is a constant. So if I represent that equation as Y equal to AX minus BX squared, you can quickly see that this is the equation of a parabola. Isn't that cool? Now, what does this mean? This essentially implies that the, that the trajectory, the path through which a projectile moves is parabolic, provided it is launched at a certain angle. So if I throw this thing like that, what happens? It follows a parabolic path defined by this equation. I hope 
that you have understood the concepts, it is my wish and pleasure to bring you this lesson. Um, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask in the discussion forum. Thank you.